How's it going everybody? So I want to present you guys with an update video just to kind of sit down, relax, and to take a load off and talk to you guys. So with all that being said, let's get started. Now first things first, I'd like to apologize for my appearance. I just got home from work, so I apologize that, you know, I'm not dressed up or anything like that. I apologize if I, you know, look a little bit tired or whatever. Um, a very, very long and exhausting day, but nonetheless, you know, another day, another dollar, and another night I get to sleep in my own bed. But anyways, let's get to the video. So first things first, I would like to say thank you guys so very much. Like seriously, I, like from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so very much for the amount of love and continued support that you've shown for me as a person, as a content creator on this channel, in this community, you know, etc. The whole bit, I want to say thank you guys so very much for all your continued support, despite the fact that, you know, I haven't been uploading consistently because obviously I'm still on hiatus. And the last time I uploaded anything to this channel was on the 1st of June. So almost uh, two weeks since I have last uploaded anything. But I just want to say, you know, despite all that, thank you guys so very much for the amount of love and support that you have shown me as a person, as a creator, you know. It really does mean a lot, and believe me when I say, you know, when I do make my comeback, I'm going to make it real strong, and I'm going to be rare and tearing to go, and I cannot wait. Now, the thing is, you know, there's still a lot of things that I do need to get squared away, you know. I'm not really going to go too much into, into specifics because I don't want to repeat myself from past videos, but I think you guys get the picture. Now, as for the, I guess you could say now, I call it the hashtag road to positivity. Um, things have been going pretty well, you know, I've been a little bit more consistent when it comes to the gym. Now, here's the thing is that the part that really, really kind of frustrates me sometimes is the fact that, you know, I want to be lean and I want to be, you know, a cardio machine, so to speak. You know, I want to have really good endurance, really good cardio. But the thing is, is that I also miss my strength, you know, like I was at my peak strength in around 2015 and, you know, that was when I was doing powerlifting and I was training for powerlifting and all that stuff. And man, I gotta say, you know, I don't want to brag or anything, so I'm not gonna go into details, but my numbers were pretty high up there when it came to my lifts. Now, here's the thing is that, um, in this day and age, you know, I really don't want to push myself to lifting too much heavy weight because the thing is, is that I only have one body and I want it to last me a lifetime, literally, because, you know, this is the only vessel I have, right? So the thing is, that I've actually decided I'm going to mix it up, you know, I'm going to do a couple nights a week where I'm going to be doing nothing but cardio and then I'm going to be focusing on the rest of the days that I have a chance to work out uh, strictly on weight training because I still want to have a really good physique, you know, really good strength and all that stuff. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I don't want to get chubby and I don't want to, you know, have all this flab and all that stuff, you know. Uh, I don't look bad by any stretch of the imagination. Like, you know, you can see... You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not fat by any means, but you know, I uh, there, there is some room to uh, to improve, so to speak. You know, and since we're on the topic of improvements, there is a lot of things that I need to improve on on my end. And the thing is that I wish that in the snap of a finger that you know, all the improvements will be there. But the thing is that, you know, I can only do things one at a time. Um, and the thing is that, you know, me recording videos in my room isn't exactly the most opportune place for me to record my videos. I mean, the thing is, if I'm going to be completely honest, you know, if you guys remember back to when I record my videos, you know, down in the basement in the laundry room slash rec room, you know, that was the place to be, you know, I had a lot more freedom of range and a lot more freedom to be able to, you know, utilize my character better. You know, one thing that I learned in the past when I was taking drama classes in high school, uh, acting classes and all that stuff, you know, improv and all that, um, is that, you know, you need to have, you know, a really good amount of space to work with, right? Um... If you have, like, a very, very, very small, tight-knit amount of space, you know, it really does restrict what you can do during videos. Um, but the more space you have to work with, the better, I find, you know. Um, and I gotta say that some of my best videos took place downstairs in the basement. But also, you know what, on the same note, uh, some of my best ever videos have taken place up here. Um, so, you know, I guess, like, you know, you win some and you lose some, right? But the thing is, though, is that... 
Uh, one of the things that I really, really need to do is I need to rearrange my room because it's small and it's cluttered as hell. Because uh, I got a lot of stuff in here, you know. I'm not not gonna do a room tour because you know right now it's just it's not exactly the time or the place. But believe me when I say you know eventually y'all are gonna be getting a tour of. Uh, not only the place that I record all my videos, but also why not do a house tour while we're at it, right? Now, another thing I wanted to address there real quick is, you know, obviously... For those of you guys that know me personally, you know, I've also spoken about this uh, quite a few times on the channel, uh, that being my dealings with my medical issues, such as with depression and anxiety and panic attacks disorder and all this stuff. Um, I just kind of want to update you guys there real quick to say that, you know, things on that end are going well. Um... Just had a doctor's appointment actually yesterday, and you know we're we're on, we're on a good path. We're on the right path, you know. Um, and really, the best thing that uh, that we can rely on at this point is the time factor, you know. Um, I am pretty confident that you know things are going to get better. Um, things already are getting better, you know. I already feel a difference, and you know it's only been like a day and stuff like that. Um, so I'll keep you guys in the loop when it comes to, you know, my physical and mental health as well. Um, I really, really want to appreciate and say thank you guys for allowing me to open up to you guys. Like, seriously, I've opened up to you guys and spoke about some really deep stuff, you know, some really, really deep and personal things. And in turn, you know, you guys have shared some of the most deepest and personal things with me in the comments. And that that's another reason why I love this community right here is because of the fact that, you know, we can all, like, we're all just seemingly so comfortable with each other, and we can just, you know, uh, sit and, you know, not only talk about, you know, what uh, our struggles are, but also find ways to deal with them, uh, you know, and one of the ways, obviously, is by working together as a community, uh, you know, unity, you know, being together as one, and I gotta say, you know, <laughs> I really appreciate all of that, right? Like, you guys are just, you guys... You're, you're, you're too awesome. That's really all I can say is like the, the best way actually to sum it up is that you guys are too OP. You guys are way too overpowered and God love every single one of you. Woo! Now, with all that being said, um, I think now's as good as any time to wrap it up. Not really much for me to uh, talk about here that you guys either haven't already known or have, you know, we haven't already talked about and all this stuff, but just kind of wanted to keep you guys in the loop with what is going on. Um, and also, once again, give a big time thanks to each and every single one of you amazing people. Like, seriously, uh, I'm, I'm really happy right now, you know? I'm really, really happy. And actually, there is one thing that I want to address here real quick. And that is, you know, I actually found this out uh, in one of uh, Drama Lord's recent videos. Um... And that is the possibility that Instagram is uh, is going to be a competitor when it comes to uh, video uploads. You know, a video uploading platform and all that stuff. And I gotta say, right, that if um, if basically like this right here is the wake up call that YouTube needs when it comes to this, right? It's like either treat your content creators like actual human beings, actually treat them with fairness and respect, or see ya, bye, we're gonna go to a platform that actually gives a shit about us kind of thing, you know, like, that's, that's what, uh, that's what some people were probably thinking, right, but the thing is, right, is that, you know, right now, I'm not gonna really make any hasty decisions, I'm not gonna suddenly make a big Instagram account and just, you know, start, you know, doing a whole bunch of stuff, you know, to be honest with you, I'm not really an Instagram person, I don't even have an Instagram, <laughs> I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all, but I mean, if you guys want me to have an Instagram, then, you know, like, let me know in the comment section down below, who knows, if I care enough to make an Instagram, then I'll make one and I'll link it to you guys and all that stuff. But anyways, um, I don't know what I would be able to share on Instagram that you guys don't already see on, like, Twitter and Facebook and, hell, even here, right? I mean, uh, the stuff I post on Instagram probably wouldn't be that much different. But anyways, guys, with all that being said, I want to say thank you for watching. Have a good night, and I love each and every single one of you. And finally, I say stay positive on the road to positivity, man, because I want to be back to 100% and deliver that 100 grade A-plus content to you guys because you know the deal. I always keep it 100 with you guys, and you guys keep it 100 with me. And that's just it, man. We keep it 100 all around. So have a good night. I'll see you in the next video.